first thing we're going to do is work on our V-Birth. It is two single beds. We're gonna, we want to make that a, a solid one piece bed. And with the 34, we have quite the round floor when we get to the V-Birth, making our space a little bit less usable. So we are coming up with ideas on how we can contain our space so we can use it all, but not lose our stuff in the bottom of the boat somewhere. We also need to make sure that it has airflow so we don't run into any mildewy, moldy stuff. <laughs> why there are two doors I just I know. don't know <laughs> why. I can't even comprehend. Um, I'm stuck. I'm, I'm stuck. <laughs> can you see me? Barely. You gotta show, <laughs> show one of these doors so I can get out. <laughs> <laughs> the round floors are a problem. You go slip sliding if you have your flip flops on. First things first, I'm sweating. And I'm in the great state of Utah, landlocked Utah. It's only 75 degrees out here, and I'm sweating. I don't know what I'm going to do when we get out to the Sea of Cortez or Mexico or the tropics, and, but we'll, 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 figure it out um first things first i'm gonna open up this hatch show you a little bit more of the idea about the v-birth storage um and then we're gonna get right to it Now that we got a nice breeze going through the boat, let's take a closer look at the storage situation we have here, okay? All right, walk on up here. So this is what's under the cushions, okay? Like uh, nothing. No way to get into any of it. And it is all one great big open container. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this little piece of tree, uh, teak trim off the top of this. Then we're gonna transfer a line or the height from here to here, snap a nice straight line. We're gonna cut this off and make this one plane, one level. So that our bed, when it's fully done, will be the same height. Hopefully this goes well for us. Um, I've never lived on a boat before and my biggest fear right now is devaluing our boat or, or doing something really stupid that we just haven't thought out because we just don't know any better. Um, but I guess it is what it is. We'll sort it all out. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be step one. holes um, cut out ready to go so now I'm going to move on to templating the bulkheads um, for our storage this will give us five separate compartments we can store our stuff in and then we'll get all mixed together and, and kind of all this big jumbled up mess we'll be able to separate some stuff in here um, so cardboard we got our scissors tape measure pencil um, we well, got my scribe all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this um, I'm gonna take some measurements, get this cardboard roughly in shape, get in there close, and I'm gonna take take my bubble scribe here, and I'm gonna scribe it into the roundness of this boat and any imperfections it has, and tighten it up. And then I'm gonna take that outside, trace it onto my plywood, cut it, bring it in, hope it fits. Sounds easy, right? It should be perfect. Shouldn't take any time at all. Got my pattern. Check it out. Ooh. Cardboard. Let's go cut this for real instead of this crafty, artsy, crafty 
cardboard stuff. Let's go find some wood. I got three of the five cut in of these bulkheads for these little storage compartments in the V-Birth. Um, got a couple screws in it to mock it up to see what it's going to look like. Um, check it out. So we got this compartment here. We will have this compartment here. This one. And then a bigger one here in the front of this thing. That'll give us uh, six separate compartments when we're done. So, you know, almost there. I got to template in two more. And I got to make sure I pull them up off the floor, or off the, the bilge area. An inch, I'm thinking, maybe two for some um, drainage. So the wood's not sitting there, so water can flow in case something ever does get in the boat. Um, tab them in, which I've never done before. Uh, but I think I'm pretty confident that it'll go okay. And then we've got to uh, find some sort of good paint to seal it all up. Something really nice and hard and smooth and easy to clean. Thursday, Friday, three and a half days. I'm um, get as much of this done as I can before I go back to work. Um, yeah. The rate I'm going, I don't think I'm going to make it, but I'm going to keep plugging away. Now I'm going to go grab the sander, a little palm sander, some 80 grit, and I'm going to sand the entire inside of this V-Birth, rough it up a little bit. Sand really well there so I can tab up some fiberglass. Exciting. I think I'm done. Look at this pile. The boat today, we're gonna try to do some fiberglassing. So I've got 12 tablespoons of resin. It's gonna take half a teaspoon of activator, I got my stir stick, some fumed silica thickening filler because we got to put a fillet, fillet, fillet I guess in. I got some chopped strands of fiberglass, um, I guess that gives it some strength. We're gonna get after it, we're gonna mix all this stuff together and see what we can do. I really don't know what I'm doing, I just know this stuff is very light, probably pretty toxic, so we're going to be super careful. We're going to try, I guess, two scoops. We'll see how that goes. Okay, let's stir this up. Here we go. Got it activated. I'm going to dump a little bit on the back of this thing. I got my little chip brush. I'm going to coat this. Um, I'm going to get this really soaking wet. Okay, so I pre-coated the back of them, thinking that that would help saturate these better. Hopefully I'm right. If not, I think they'll still be fine. Like I said, this is not a structural 
thing really I just don't want it to move and you know I kind of wanted to try so I made a freaking mess I think I've got too much resin or it's not, I should have thickened it maybe I don't know because it seems to just want to run down the <laughs> oh man that's right like I said if it's bad I can sand it I can you know I think I'm done though. Maybe I think I'll take the rest of this resin and just coat out these boards before we paint them. I guess I don't know. I hate to waste it. Is all. And I think I can't possibly put any more on there. Okay, I'm done with that. Hold on. I got a roller. Got this little roller I got. Um, looks like a pizza cutter of sorts. It's supposed to get all the air bubbles out. So let's see how it does. I don't know if it's doing any good. I'm sure it's doing something though. I'm done. Okay, so I'm done with the fiberglass. Um, there's a little bit of runs on the bottom of it. I'm going to just take a brush and um, uh, clean it all up before, before it hardens. So I don't have to sand too much of it. So I'm gonna do that and I think we're done. So I just said a whole thing and I wasn't even recording. So let's try this again. Uh, a few thoughts on fiberglassing. First off, it wasn't as bad as I thought. As always, the anticipation is usually worse than actually doing. Um, I think it went all right. A few things though, I could have bought a smaller or a lighter weight cloth. I think this stuff is like 18 ounces. Something I, I'm not quite sure, but it obviously was a little too thick for the use I was using it for. But that's okay, it's what I had, it's what I used. Um, it'll be fine, this is underneath, this is all storage, no one's gonna see this stuff. Um, it should sand and paint real well. Um, I'll let you know. Another thought is uh, don't put acetone in a red solo cup. Yeah, ask me how I know because this this jackass right here, oh, it'll be fine. Freaking fill that solo cup up all the way to the top with acetone to clean my brushes and stuff and within, I don't know, a minute or two, the bottom of the cup came off. The acetone it ate all the way through it. Spilled everywhere over the bow. I'm hurrying, trying to find some rags, clean this mess up. Um, so lesson learned. Acetone goes in a metal container, nothing plastic, or at least not red solo cup plastic. They're great for drinking with, but not so much for holding your acetone. Yeah, other than that, the fiberglassing wasn't that bad. I'm gonna take a few minutes, I'm gonna clean this boat back up. I seem to do more cleaning than work around here. Uh, get rid of all this fiberglass stuff and I got a few more things I want to do. Some wood trim inside the feed berth. I got to cut this plywood for the, the keystone. Um, that's about it. Tomorrow we should paint this thing up and pretty much wrap this up. Good morning, everybody. We're here to follow up on the V berth. So we're a couple months into living on board and um, the view is going pretty well. I think that the space was good, the um, separations that you put in it are good, um, nothing's moving around much at all and I added everything that I put in there I put into vacuum seal bags so it's staying nice and dry which is great and um, it, it's not that bad to move the bed and get into that stuff we've had to do maybe every two weeks get in there and get something but it's it's served its purpose well and <coughs> I, I like it I think it's okay yeah it's How about you? well yeah yeah it seems fine so far and we'd also like to thank our newest patrons uh, my good buddy uh, Trent Hansaker for um, being number one the first number guy one. to support us <laughs> um, number one he's a good friend of mine <laughs> Uh, we've worked together for a long time and, and we appreciate it, man. <laughs> and a special little couple we met in Rio Vista. Our paths crossed there and had a wonderful night with them and a couple weeks following that. And um, we hope that our 
paths cross again. And thank you from the bottom of our hearts for supporting these crazy kids. You didn't say their name. John and Carolyn. We're going to do a take two. Uh, all over. And a very special thank you to my mom, um, Barbara, for um, supporting our videos, for joining us on Patreon, and being a good sport, a good sport <laughs> about this entire thing we're doing. Um, we do appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and check us out on Patreon. Hope our paths cross soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Go. <clears throat> you ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I know my glasses are fogging. <laughs> All right, and we'd also like to thank... Uh, let me start that again. And a very special, special thank you to my mother for um, supporting our videos. <laughs> mother. Is that bad? Barb, uh, we love you. I call her mother. <laughs> Let's try that again. Thumbs up. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Is that not good enough? No, oh, I didn't know you were done. And thank you guys um, for your continued support. Please check us out on YouTube, on Patreon. Oh, God. <laughs> Done? Subscribe. Please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> One more try. <laughs>